Welcome to today's video. Hello, Bendy. Hello besties, hope you're doing well, hope you're having a good day, thank you for joining me again for another video. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Ailey, welcome to the channel, and today is a very exciting day. I am going to go to a Harry Styles concert tonight in London. I don't know if you can feel the energy that I am radiating to you. Hopefully you can feel it through the screen, but I am so excited. And I thought it would be a great idea if you come with me, get ready with me, pick an outfit with me, do my makeup with me. Just basically get ready with me to go see Harry Styles. I can't believe it. I don't think it's quite hit me yet that I'm going. I just know that I'm excited. But it won't hit me until I'm there and I see him performing. But come get ready with me. We can have a bit of a chit chat. Talk about different things. You know what comes to mind. But first things first. I need to jump in the shower. And I'm going to wash my hair. Because I mean, girls, girls a bit greasy. I'm going to do my skincare as well. Because my skin is not doing great at the moment. It's really textured. And I've been breaking out quite a bit around, around here. But that's fine. We accept that. It's natural. We have an exciting evening today. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly jump in the shower, wash my hair, and I will be right back with my hair basically dripping wet. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Ooh. Okay, so I've just jumped out the shower. My hair is wet, but I'm literally just gonna quickly pin it back. I've washed my face so far using my cleanser and I put on some of my serum slash toner thing already. Like before you guys have seen enough of me doing my skincare. Anyway that I don't think I really need to show you again but I'm quickly just gonna pin my hair back um just while I do the rest of my skincare. So I really so now that's all pinned back and looking big ass forehead um <clears throat> my mom was kind enough and made me a croissant a chocolate croissant 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 quaxant so i'm having trouble connecting to the internet it looks like there's an issue Just with the a minute. echo device once the router is back on and connected to the internet plug in the echo device no i was so sure good anyway I also got these free packs as well. This is the Dr. Jarts Plus Cecilia Pear. I'm not quite sure, but it's basically a serum and cream tester packet. But I'm not quite sure which one goes on which. The pear serum. Well, I guess I put the serum on now before I put on my moisturiser that I use. That should work. Because it doesn't give me any directions of where when to put these on. But I think I'm just going to test out the serum now because that makes more sense to me than putting them on both after I put the moisturiser on. I don't know. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm just sitting down at my vanity and I'm going to try this serum. I've been meaning to use for quite a while, but I don't know if you're like me. And when I've got these one-time use things, I want to use them when I have a good reason to use them. So for example, like today, when I've got a nice event coming out and I want to see how well this does. If it does shit and makes my skin look horrible, then I'm going to be obviously disappointed, but oh, I haven't ripped this off. Oh, I don't want to spit it everywhere. That means it kind of might be a bit stupid. Maybe if I put it on my hand, that would make more logical sense. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Do it on my hand. I'm just gonna. It's gonna take me a while to do. Oh, it's got a green tint to it. Well, I find that most of these products usually do. There we go. I don't really want it to go, but I'm just gonna rub it in. Oh, that's really like gooey, juicy. I'm just gonna like it into my. Do you know what? This feels so nice on my skin. It's kind of. It feels quite thick, but that's maybe because like there's a lot of it. Do it on my lip. This is quite nice. It's quite dewy. It's not like um nowhere a lot of serums are quite watery. It's not really like that. It's quite thick. It's drying up really nicely. Like it's not stripping, which I guess is really good. Like, like I've never had that perfect skin. Like as you can see, my skin's not flawless or perfect. And I've now come to the realization that that's fine. Like nobody really cares what your skin looks like. It's literally 
literally you. You are your worst critic. As I keep saying to people that are like me and don't have great skin, but I'm gonna quickly go and wash my hands because they feel a bit, yeah, and I'm gonna be touching my face a lot. So I'm gonna probably be going back and forward and washing my face, so yeah. So I'm back from washing my hands. I've just put some moisturizer on because I let the serum just sit on my skin for a bit longer because I wanted it to be all absorbed before I put anything on. But now my face feels so hydrated and just, it's really a jeans, it's really glowy at the moment. But I'm gonna go one step further. I'm gonna put this Ted Baker Violet and Burmel. Is that how you say it, Burmel? Um, moisturizing eye mask. So I'm going to use that today. Again, Harry Styles is a perfect excuse to use some of my gifts that I got or free samples that I have yet to try. But this was a gift. So I'm gonna give this a go now. I'm gonna put that under my eyes. And while I let that sit and just absorb, because I do get um, very dry under my eyes and I really don't want it to cake once I put makeup on because I'm obviously gonna have that on for quite a few hours and I'm gonna be out and about walking, sweating, you know, doing some things. So I wanna make sure my skin is prepped and ready to go. Cause I, I didn't used to do that when I was younger. Younger. I never worried about skincare or anything like that and now that I've got to the age where I'm like actually skincare is very important and you you need to do it so that's what we're doing so we're gonna put these on and then um, while I'm waiting for that to do I'm just gonna sort of sort out my hair again like skincare I need to prep that before I start doing something on it there's one and these are so moisturizing already i feel like they're quite doing stuff anyway i'm gonna let that sit for quite a bit i'm gonna go rinse my hands again but they are just on at the moment. I love that they're um, clear. You can't really see that I've got an eye mask. It might look a bit weird for you, but oh, it feels so nice. Right, I'm gonna go wash my hands again and then start doing my hair. But my hair's gonna be quite loud, so it'll be a little time lapse montage thing that you can sit and enjoy. <laughs> clip it back again. I don't really want it to get in my face as I'm doing everything but it's nice and fluffy how I like it. So now I'm just clipping back my fringe. Okay. Right just take these off. Oh they were so <coughs> moisturizing. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just gonna rub it all over my eye. God, that sneeze impacted me. But my under eyes are so moisturized now, like it's still really glowy. So I'm gonna use this Tiger Crop, yeah, Tiger Grass Repair Cream now. So I'm just gonna split this open and yeah, just put it pretty much all over my face. I find with all of these Cecilia Pear, I think that's how you say it. They all have a green tint to them, as you can see. They all have a green tent underneath, which is very nice and just got it on my finger. It's like a slur. So I'm just gonna pop this pretty much all over my face and just hope for the best, I guess. So that's all on and I'm just gonna massage it in. Oh my god, this is so thick. 
my skin better be. So it even smells quite nice. Like I find sometimes with products they smell really bad and just unflattering that you're like, oh, I don't really want to put this on my face. But this, this is so dewy, gooey, thick. It's so refreshing. Yes, I love Cecile Pear. Like I've got one of their products. Like so, I'm literally gonna go in with it now. This is their Tag Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This right here again, if it wants to focus. This thing right here is an absolute lifesaver. And if you've got uneven skin like me, you get red patches from like where your um, acne is or anything. Oh my god, you need to get yourself this. So again, it is just a green cream and I just take you don't need a huge amount I take about that much and you're supposed to sometimes I dot it on my face sometimes I do this but you're supposed to put it on your finger and then rub it in and it literally doesn't leave anything it starts turning into your skin color it won't leave any sort of white cast or any green cast either on top of your skin you're supposed to just dab that in like so I'm just making sure that I probably get it wet my red is which is usually on my cheek and my nose but also where I'm breaking out more as well that might have a bit of a more deeper cast but you see how it's just evened out my skin already so much that is pretty much my base done it kind of turns into my skincare because this is what I put on before I um put on makeup but sometimes if I'm having a non-makeup day I would just put this on just to even it all out like obviously I've still got some of my red bits because that's where it's a little bit deeper but I'm gonna quickly go wash my hands again because I'm gonna be using my fingers because I don't use ones but I will bleh, bleh, wet my sponge as well and we'll start doing some makeup oh it's getting really dull now so I'm really sorry for like the brightness of this video um but it's chucking it down for rain right now so I'm sorry if like, it's so dull I've just washed my hands I've wet my beauty blender out and I'm gonna start off with some makeup so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty concealer which I've just started using and I see I don't like the matte look to makeup I like it to be dewy and glowy and I like it to still look like skin I don't love um when I completely cover all of my spots because I've just accepted it as a part of me and I feel weird when they're all covered up and you can't see them but I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just dab it in so I'm just lightly dabbing this into my skin my skin feels so good at the moment I haven't felt this good in a very long time like a nice little treat just going in with that I know I'm definitely going to be sweating this off lately later so I don't want to put loads on my face but I'm just doing that to kind of conceal it for a bit now I'm going to go in with like the smallest amount the smallest amount of foundation just to bring some colour back in and just do that and I use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation it is my favourite foundation I finally got to a point with my makeup that I love that works for my skin um because a lot of it I would use just cheap store makeup that would just make me look really cakey and uneven and I just I didn't like that it wasn't nice or anything I don't know how to explain it it just it, it didn't work for my skin I have such a weird skin type um that literally anything I put on my skin would not look good I might as well just not worn any makeup at all I'm just putting this on like again I use the bare minimum that like, you don't I don't need a lot of this but I do bring my makeup everywhere with me just in case something happens <laughs> something goes wrong and I need a fix dabbing that in do 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 anyway tell me about you how is your day going because this isn't a tutorial this is just what I do what works for me but tell me how are you feeling how is your day going are you going am I going to see you at the Harry Styles concert that maybe i know a few people go in so let me know if you went or if you're planning on going to see somebody or anything just let, let me know what's going on you know let's have a bit of a chit chat anyway i'm gonna go back in with my concealer and just put in to some of the areas i want to lighten and now i'm just gonna go in with my finger instead of a beauty blender 
I've just fizzled this all out. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna carry on doing this off camera because this can take time, but look how nice it looks already. And I haven't even blended properly. <laughs> so I've blended that all out. I also brushed my eyebrows up with the e.l.f. Brow Clear Brow and Lash Mascara Gel thing. So I've just brushed them off. I'm gonna let that dry before I fill in my eyebrows. But now you're gonna see a lot in this video that I stick to one company of things. So a lot with my makeup, I use the Refi makeup brand. Their skin line works best for me and my skin. They're all cream-based, they are all water-based as well. Um, and because I get white dry patches, also some oily patch well, it kind of just helps with my skin and it, it lasts so long. But I also go in with their Refi brush well and I just take some of their bronze up. I'm just gonna go above my cheekbone. So I just kind of want to look a bit sun kissed. Like I don't really want to um use any sharp contour again. I love the dewy effect. Like look at that already. I'm just gonna massage it into my skin and do the other side quickly. Anyway, what were we saying? Oh yeah, I think I should give you a little bit of an update of what's going on in my life. Obviously, I started YouTube about a year ago. You won't see any of my videos from a year ago because I stopped, I took them all down except from one because I just found that video so funny and I actually love doing it and it's a good memory. Um, which is my October read one, so you can go check that out. I loved filming that and it was such just a good highlight of that past year for me but um I stopped recording because I got a new I got a new job but the job was just so time consuming and I just didn't have enough time to pick up a camera and record though so I didn't and also I was going through a lot of other stuff as well and I think my camera actually broke but yeah but now I'm back I've got a new job now that's not so time consuming um I absolutely love it the people are great I'm in a much better headspace as well mentally and I just thought I'll give you that bit of, a, bit of an update but my camera is literally about to die like I even charged it last night so I'm not quite sure what's going on but I'm gonna finish with my base and let the camera charge for a bit so I'll be right back with you guys right so camera is charged up a bit but um I basically did my brows put some blush on I need to shut this window actually it is so dull I don't like that it's dull but now I'm gonna go in the refi powder again I my blush was refi my bronzer was refi this powder is refi it's a water-based powder which i think is great because i have very dry skin as you all know it's like it's like it's a combination i think it's more oily than dry actually but i get dry patches like look at that look at this and i'll look at that it just stops the shine where i don't want it and let me show you ready why you only need like the tiniest amount as well so i'm gonna put some on my nose my nose don't shine too much get on my chin and then a bit up here so i look pretty much all set in and i use that east friends as well which you don't need to wet i do need to wash it though because it does pick up some of my makeup which is normal like that's what beauty blend does but now that i put that powder on I'm going to quickly bronze my eyes a bit, um, so I'm literally just going to go back in with my bronzer and I'm going to take my brush like a little bit and then I don't know how I'm like going to swoop it up as well so it just kind of gives me a lift, like look how much it's just lifted and I'm just going to blend that out pretty much like I'm not going to do anything, I oh, know, see that, how much it's just Gone up. Now I'm gonna do that the other side as well. Lift. Da, 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 da. Like I honestly love these products. Um, I don't usually put like eyeshadow on because it's not really for me. But yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna take my blending brush. As you can see it's got some stuff already on it. I'm just gonna make sure it's all blended in and it looks really natural and just you know, sun's kiss. Done. Sharp contour. I never really liked sharp contour when I was younger. I was like, oh, this looks so cakey, but I couldn't go out with out anything on which was so annoying now i'm like fine with it and i don't have to worry about it because i just don't care what other people think about me or anything like that and i, I try and tell people like like 
just <laughs> this is me exposing myself now but this is how i like keep my head up when i'm walking and i don't look down or i don't seem like i'm shy or anything like that i literally think that everybody has a crush on me like no matter who i'm walking past they are like oh my god look at her she's amazing she looks gorgeous damn i want to be her or i want to be with her that's just what i think and i just kind of pretend i'm on a catwalk as well and i would just not let anybody bring me down that's how i do it in public if i'm gonna be honest because if i didn't think like that if i didn't have that mindset i wouldn't be able to go out without makeup or in clothes that i look slobbish in like i don't say it out loud like like i don't go to people and be like oh my god i'm the best like no it's all in my head it doesn't need to be vocalized or anything because then i might just seem like i'm a bitch and i'm really not a bitch <laughs> but i kind of want people to think that i am you know but let me know how you guys do like how do you feel good like what do you do or think that makes you feel like a badass mm. that you can do anything you know how do you get your confidence like that because yeah that's how i do mine but maybe you've got a better idea of how you do it where you don't seem like an absolute sob. not sob like self-absorbed you know what i mean oh, yeah anyway i'm gonna finish my makeup off camera um because the other bits are a bit boring and i don't think you want to watch that that's pretty much all of my makeup on i'm just gonna add a bit of highlight a bit of lip balm and then i'll get back to you guys when it's time to pick an outfit so let's skip to the good part shall we i am ready to go my makeup is done it's, it's looking very light uh my hair i think i'm just gonna pretty much keep down but i will bring like a hairband and a claw clip with me but this is the outfit so i've just got this oversized blazer on this is a corset top that i got from pretty little thing and then these are just um leggings that i got from amazon probably but if you can see the mess so i didn't feel me trying to pick out an outfit just because i was with my sister and we were just having the silly moment because that's who i'm going to see harry with but this is the mess that has happened i've got clothes laying out there also makeup is out all over my vanity but um yeah this is the fit i'm just gonna put on some jewelry because i'm in all black i thought it would be good if i put some more gold jewelry on so i've already got this on which is what i wear every day pretty much but i got some new jewelry one of them i'm already wearing i took out my seconds because those are a nightmare to take on and off they're just so stiff so i'm just gonna pop these ones in my seconds actually i think um but yeah thank you for coming along with me and getting ready with me um it kind of felt a bit rushed but it's been a few hours now that i think about it i think i'm just gonna put these little love heart ones on that there and then make ones in there that's if i can get it in <laughs> but i don't know i'm obviously gonna put my rings on but i think i've got some of these jewelry here that i might end up overlapping so i might start off with this gold one but let's just put this on oh my god i can't get the class oh, that's that one simple you know put together look my makeup is all done and yeah that is the end of the get ready with me thank you for joining me and keeping me company i have enjoyed this so 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 much and as a treat for coming and joining me and taking the time to get to this point in the video please enjoy the next few clips of me at the concert love you bye